This is the story of St. Benedict's Miracle. Have you heard about how Morris walked on the water? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, so I'll share the story about that. Okay, sure. We're ready. When Benedict started the 13th monastery, he began living there. Benedict's fame spreads rapidly, and people came all the way down to visit him. During this time, he was interested of taking care of Maurus and Placidus, who later on became the two gems of Benedictine family. Once, it so happened that there is a severe scarcity of water in the valley. The monks who lived in the monastery had no water to drink and do their chores accordingly. Master, there's no water! Let's go out and find a source of water. When they were searching for water, Benedict knew that God will always provide. Now climb that mountain and you will find water on the other side. Huh? Are you sure, Master? Do you doubt me? I'm sorry, I will go now and see you, Master. Morris, look! It's a miracle! Yes, it's a miracle! We have found water! Benedict performed many other miracles during his time. On a certain day, Benedict was in his cell when Placidus went out to take up water at the lake. Putting his pail carelessly, he fell into the lake and started drowning. Ah! Help! Help! Somebody! Help! Benedict, sleeping in a cell, was able to sense the danger and suddenly woke up. He asked Maurus to go and help Placidus. Brother Maurus, you go and see Placidus. Run as fast as you can. Master, but Master, even if it is true, how would I save him? I don't even know how to swim. Don't worry about that. You will be able to walk on water. Now hurry, go. I'm going now, Master. I'm able to walk on water! To run to the spot on the water to which Placidus had been carried by the force of the water. Morris took fast hold of Placidus by the hair of his head. In all haste, he returned with him. Placidus and Maurus came back to Benedict and telling him what happened. The vulnerable man did not attribute this to his own merits but to the obedience of Maurus. The friendly contention proceeded in mutual humility, but the youth himself that had been saved from drowning determined the fact. It was another miracle. Maurus walked in water, and Placidus was saved that day. But not everyone was happy with what's going around. Some monks in the monastery tired of strict rules of Saint Benedict and they tried to poison him again. But this time, when he was about to eat the bread, a bird flew and snatched the bread away. This is the story of St. Benedict's Miracle. <laughs>